Cameron Baines. Uh, I'm the owner of uh, Locality. That's a, that's a skate shop basically, but it's just called Locality Store and um, I play in a band called Body Jar. Formed in high school when we were in year 12, or year 11, year 12 sort of thing, and, and started to get more serious as we sort of got a bit older, and, and, and it's, it's been going for a long time, so like probably 25 years or something, so it's a very long period of my life, but, but it was fun, yeah, it was good. We made a bit of money and we had fun, and, and we're still going, but we're just not as serious anymore. We were on a few labels first, we were on Shock, which was like a, at the time, like a big independent record label in Melbourne. You know, they, they put out like Offspring and the first Green Day albums and all that sort of stuff. And then, um, and then we got signed to a major like EMI. Um, that's when I guess things took off a bit, you know. And we had a couple of gold records in, in Australia with them. And then we went to America and toured. We did like the Warp tour and we toured with Blink One Eight Two over there for for months. And we were lucky enough to get these producers from America who are really good. Bill Simmons and Stephen Egerton who play in the band Descendants. They're like a seminal punk band from the '80s that is really influential, you know. And they produced our first album, then we learned a lot about songwriting and stuff like that. And so the next album was a lot better. I think, yeah, just at some point I thought, I've got to get a job, you know, the band's not going to like get me through life. And I, I just thought I'll go work at Fast Times, you know, there's one right near my house. And um, so I just went in and asked the guy, I said, is there any jobs? And he recognized me from Body Jar, so I got the, I got the job for some reason. But I just kept working for this. And then I thought, nah, this isn't, this is someone else's dream. You know, I want to do my own thing and see if I can make it work. So that's what this shop is. There's a strong Melbourne, it always has been. Like Melbourne's always the, the best state for live music and punk rock or whatever you want to call it. It's always had a really strong scene. You see when bands tour, the Melbourne show always sells out first and then the rest of them, you know. So you're lucky if you live here, you've probably got a bit of a head start. If you want to be in a band, in Melbourne's the best place to be. You know, it's got a lot of venues and, and people that could, can help you out. So I think it's in a strong place at the moment. I'm DJ Marshall, or Ben, founder of Otis High, DYE. Um, I run Marshall Street Studios here. Do a bunch of work with other hip hop artists, producers. Been in the Melbourne scene for about seven years now. Um, predominantly hip hop. Ventured into some other stuff, but mainly hip hop and Aussie pop's the background. Oh, well, we're the best. <laughs> no, it's um, studio's got to be a comfortable place. You've got to be able to feel that you can uh, tap into whatever, cr whatever creativity zone you get in to make your best fucking work. Um, and you've got to feel like you're not restricted by the area you're in. Um, you know, we've got ping pong tables, some Xbox, place to fucking relax, to get out of the room. A lot of times people will be in the studio for six, seven, eight hours. So getting out of it and being comfortable in the space is a huge thing. Um, and that's something that we definitely pride ourselves on here. Melbourne's good. We're better than any other city, I'd say, definitely. Um, it's, these days it's great to be independent. Artists don't need a label, man. You, the only thing a label brings to the table these days is contacts, which are dope. Um, but a lot of time, with through fucking Facebook, Instagram and socials, man, if artists get out there and hustle themselves, they can put themselves in contact with anyone they need to meet. So, I mean, I've always rolled independent. We had distribution through labels, um, but we would never sign with the label just because, one, you give them a lot of control and these days, if you're willing to fucking work for it, you can do it without them. Uh, I see the whole music scene industry going independent. Um, a lot of the big labels are losing a lot of their power. The, yes, they will have a lot of, they fucking, at the end of the day, they do control a lot of the shit. But um, look, independents will be able to band together, man, and they're putting out, they just don't need big fucking labels anymore. That, whether that's Australia, Melbourne, Sydney, LA, um, independent scene everywhere is fucking growing. Yeah, anyone who makes music or thoroughly enjoys that creative process, whether that's through music or through art or through drawing or anything, there's something about the creative process that I think you just fucking, certain people just need to express yourselves to get it out there. Um, and you know, if that means office, offering a place for people to do that, and that's sweet. You know, if that's, um, if that's p painting murals or graffiti fucking artists, that's just their expression. Interesting one because we don't actually need music. You don't fucking need it to live. You need people need food, people need other shit. We don't need music, but everyone fucking loves it. We do. It's there. <laughs> oh, I think it always will be. I mean, it's one of the reasons why we sell a bit of vinyl and stuff, you know, um, just to keep the music thing in there. I think yeah, I think it's always going to be a big part, of, big part of my life. I mean, as far as just even just listening to it and letting it help you sort of get through the day and all that, you know. And playing it, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully it'll keep going. It's slowed down a lot since we opened the shop just because I've been working here six days a week and there's not much time, you know, so we had sort of a year off for the first year of the shop. We didn't play any shows and now we're sort of we're getting back into it, but who knows what the future holds. Yeah.